Other Pleiadians are not prepared to speak. Of course, that's no problem, absolutely. We, we are not surprised they didn't speak to us before, so it would be nice, nice, nice if next time, one of next times they would come through and give us, uh, give us a brief introduction to their culture and their uh, participation in Gurkhvit Nier. Yes, I will pass that along to them. Okay. Thank you much. I am Fandorian. Wonderful. Thank you much for coming through. Do you want to give your name or nickname? Palir. Palir. Thank you much. Can you give us a brief that introduction to your race and, and culture? Fandorians are a, a fifth dimensional culture. We exist in fifth dimension, but now we are uh, positively aligned with Grokfignir. And Grokfignir is many different dimensional alliance which we find acceptable. Octorians are also close to our dimension, so we are very interactive and can be very helpful for these purposes that you are gaining our support from. Are you, do you look like humans? No. To describe ourselves is difficult in your language. There's we do not know all the words that would tell you what we look like. It would be better if someone were to see us and describe us to you from their vantage point, because I am sure we would give you the wrong visual effect. Do you have children and families? Uh, yes, of course. Oh, yes, of course. Are you mammals? Do you use milk to feed, to feed children? Mammals, quackata. Mammals, we are not exactly mammals. But we have some relatives in the past that could be considered mammalian. Uh, out of the species which we know, which would be the closest to you? Genetically. The Syrians. Aha. Uh -huh. Wonderful. Uh, once uh, the channeling came through, Jim, that uh, seven of nine of the Star Trek uh, has the Fendorian bloodline. Is it anything you can relate to? Seven of nine. Yes, from the Star she Trek. A, she was a human and technology being interactive. We are not of technology necessity. There are some implants that we do have and our look is not human, but she would be close to something that you could consider our nature except for the male malevolent point that they want to conquer all species. We do have a universal thought process about being with all people, but not in that way. Uh, she was played by Jerry Ryan, actor. Is the actress related to you genetically? Negative. Okay. And. Um, uh, when we get Fendorian infusions, what would be the typical outcomes for humans? We are a very high dimensional beings. The first thing that happens is usually the Kundalini ignites, mm -hmm. giving the whole spectrum of chakras a boost. The third eye usually opens slightly more and sensitivity to spiritual things becomes more awakened. 
you become more sensitive to spiritual awakenment. Now, also, your all your bodily hungers, such as sexuality and food and things of this nature, joy and sadness, all these things become ignited within you. But we try to move more in a positive framework so that your positive energies and positive appetites are encouraged. Wonderful. What makes your race different? What, what, what makes your race proud in a positive sense of that word? How are you different from other races and uh, what, how should we look at you? What is the main feature or idea behind your race? We have the ability to become who you are in the sense that once we get to know you, we are who you are within ourselves and we know you in a greater way than we can know others. So that we have many personalities within us and understand who they are in a very unique way and therefore our love for others is greater than that is many species can develop. Thank you. So what is your involvement with Gork Fitnir? Are you involved on individual level or is it collective spiritual level? On an individual level because that is the most important way to exist. The community can come together and unite for some purposes but individuality is preferred. So how many individuals from Fendorians uh, take part in Gerg Fitnier's work? Many thousands. Wow, thank you. And how many of them meet, meet us in the colonies? There are several, not as many, because the colonies are for teaching. We are learning how to teach the Fendorian language and the Fendorian way of telepathy, which is slightly different. You access telepathy on a subconscious and conscious level at the same time, bringing in facets of the personality which I spoke to you about earlier that cannot usually be brought in by regular telepathy. Wow. Uh, are Fendorians visiting Earth and walking on the streets? Are Fendorians incarnated as humans? There is much hybridization on the Fendorian element on your planet. About, you, you are in, about seven percent of your people have Fendorian within them. Wow. Are there conscious agents from your culture walking on the streets and in the government? No. Uh-huh. Wonderful. Um, thank you very much. That's exciting. Is there a star which, is a, which you can give us, a star name which we would know which would symbolize your, your race? Tetran 4. Which constellation that would be? We would have to look at it from your angle. It would be Cerberus. Say again, Cerberus? Cerberus. Cerberus. Thank you. That is our name for it. I believe you call it Alpha Centauri. Oh, wow. But you are very different from Alpha Centaurians, right? Yes. We come from behind that area of space, actually between there in the next galaxy. Oh. You are from different galaxies. All right. Thank you much. Uh, we invite questions from the audience.
Yes, uh, hello. Uh, this is uh, Sean. I just want to say much love. I just want to much also, love. I just want to say tell uh, Lesh I sent him my love to, and I'm just curious. Am I a Fendorian soul having a human experience? One moment. There are things about you that are very Fendorian. Yes, you have some Fendorian within you. You are one of the seven percent. You also relate well with spirituality that we also relate to. You can also turn things around and see things from different perspectives, from the perspective of emotion, from the perspective of positivity and negativity. Because of the way that you have been brought up, you have so many perceptions of spirituality and their uses. Interesting. Do you feel disconnected to Earth? I, to be honest with you, I feel more connected with the Pandorian Center. It's like I... Yes, I um, thought so. I got told... Your, dream. Con Your connection to the Fendorians is much stronger than you might believe. You have star seed equivalencies within the Gurkvignir Alliance. I got told in Dream State that I came from uh, the Fendorian system, and on my way to Earth, I stopped off in the Andromedan uh, constellation. So they actually aided me in actually incarnating into this incarnational experience. I got told that if I just went into this incarnational experience, it wouldn't have ended up well. So I went to the Atlantic Galaxy for assistance. And then after I got my assistance, I came here. You were not born with all the earthly elements that were necessary to make a full human. True. We will be with you. I will speak to you later about these things. Okay. Um, I'm just curious if the Fendorian, like what does the Fendorian DNA do for humanity? Elevates thought process, spiritual connection, and creates a third dimensional attachment to Spirit, which does not really exist anywhere else. Is, is that why sometimes I feel it's difficult related to third dimensionality? Because it's like I'm so fifth dimensional in my essence that sometimes. Yes. Let me explain. Your fifth dimensional elements are attached to your third dimensional elements which is very unusual because you can pass to the dimension of five very quickly and you do not have all the elements of third dimensions that would hold you back from going to the fifth dimension this way okay there are enzymes and things missing from your body makeup. This is true. Your doctors are aware of this also, are they not? They're aware of it, but I didn't really know if it was just a experience I chose to go through during this incarnational experience, or if it was well, with my soul, like my Fendorian connections. There is a reason for it, yes. You are chosen for this reason that some of these elements would have held you back from moving in the direction that you needed to be, and so therefore they do not exist, and you exist in a purely unique fashion. We will talk more about this later on, but I will invite more people to ask more questions.
continue to yeah, be. Thank you very much for your, your participation. I will step out to, to let others to participate, and Sabrina and Sarah will take over the hosting. No. Um, yes. Do you need a drink? Does Jim need a drink? Drink. No. Okay. Um, before we continue on this side, does anyone in the room with Jim have any questions? Ah. The vision portion of this program has can. Okay. Uh, Neil? Hi, this is Neil. Ah, Neil. Yes. I have Continue. A question about the infusions. So, if somebody take, takes an infusion of Bendorian, what would you recommend that individual does after taking the infusion? Is there any practices you would recommend? Yes. Yeah. Meditate that the infusion gives you everything that it is supposed to give you. That it is to the full potential of your spiritual nature. To the full potential of your third dimensional understanding. There is much to be learned from Fandorian infusion in the th third dimension. Sexuality and appetites of this next nature can be a very positive growth factor with spirit. Not all people connect them together, but they have their connection in a great spiritual alliance and therefore uh, can bring you into a more one, oneness with yourself and others. Understanding that others can feel the great joy of the universe at the same time that you do in a sense of third dimension. Connected with fifth dimension. Connected with fourth dimension. Connected with the universal understanding of who you are. Your fullness relates to who you are as sexual beings. Not all species have this but it is part of who you are and it must be embraced and be joyful for it. Beautiful, thank you. Uh, lastly, are there any, any messages for me this time? Yes, you are moving forward at this time and gaining momentum in some ways toward the future you. You understand that there is much to do and you understand that some of it will be difficult but it will also be exhilarating at the same time. Keep faith and do not be discouraged. You have a great support system. Sure. No. Can you hear me? I can now hear you. Greetings. Um, I want to ask, I'm planning on having an Fendorian infusion next month. I already have a six infusions and some of them amplify each other. My question is, uh, can you see a probability of how it's going to affect me when I have the Fendorian infusion? Yes. As I mentioned before, 95% of the time, I do not think I gave a percentage, but it is the, the first thing would be the in Kundalini ignition where the different parts of the chakras are ignited and brought into full process. Use them all wisely and for the pro positive good. Intention them to be 
amplifying the greatest person that you can possibly be. I see. I see. And uh, you are from the fifth and sixth dimension. Is it right? Fifth, close to sixth, but we are we are truly more fifth than sixth at this time, but we are moving that direction. I see. Uh, thank you very much. You are welcome. I sense much energy within you of other species. Yes, and some of them amplify the effects of other infusion. So hopefully the phenomenon is going to be a very great one. I have a good feeling about it. Excellent. Move forward in your access to these great additions to who you truly are. Thank you. Much love. Karen? Um, oh, sorry. Hi, this is Karen. I have a question for Dan, who's in the chat, but he doesn't have a microphone. Um, he's living off of prana which means he may drink but he's not eating very much and he's basically living off of a light energy. He has a question about a DNA infusion. Uh, would that affect his hunger? Would it affect his need to eat? Would it amplify his ability to it would eat? Bandurian, Bandurian does amplify all the appetites of the body. However, only in the sense that they are awakened to a greater existence. The food appetite, the sexual appetite, the appetite of joys, the needing of joy and happiness, and, and the, also the needing of the negativity that balances it all out, they will all be ignited. However, you do not have to satisfy them all. You can remain in any state that you wish with intention. Your belief system is more powerful than any bodily ignition. So therefore, continue to move forward in what it is that you intellectually or physically seek. Therefore, you will not be affected in a negative way if you choose not to be. All right. Does that answer your question, Dan? I'm just watching the chat. Yes, it does. Thank you so very much, and namaste. Blessings to you, and much love. And also, too, he wants to know if there's any messages for him. Bandurian will do you much good. It will amplify your healing abilities. Your psychotic, not psychotic, psychic. psychic abilities also will be enhanced when the third eye is ignited and opened in a slightly greater way. Those two things I can guarantee. You will not become psychotic. I just learned the name of the word. <laughs> that's such a relief, I'm sure. And he, he would like to please ask if he may have the infusion then. Kuru, it will be granted. Thank you very much. Namaste. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh. Hello. Introduction. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, Excellent. I will go there. I have a question for myself. Is the Pandorian DNA infusion completed for me? And I have one. Not, can, not totally, but it is almost done. When it is finished, your has your Kundalini ignited yet? I have no idea. <laughs> it is all right. You will know when it is done. Very good. Thank you. And I have another question about the 1111 portal that many are speaking of. 
um, what is that effect on the earth and what is the effect of it on our health, the humans and animals and things on earth? It should have a positive effect on health and animals. For the for what it affects, it does affect health and it does affect those that are in a positive way to be remain more healthy because it energizes their system. The vortexes that are affected with the 1111 ignition will strengthen stargate activity, will also activate the protective forces of Mother Earth, which are many. It does other things, but I cannot mention them at this time. Um. Because I'm asking because some of us have been experiencing some pains and aches. They will move away from you. It is only temporary. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. No. They are calling me back. Very well, much love. Much love. Is there more questions? Yeah. Ask them now if you can. Um. Yeah. This is Sabrina. Hello. Yeah. Yes. Um. My question is. Um. I had had Fandorian given to me a long time ago. Yes. And. and I was wondering. If that was your civilization, or was it a different one? Why? Yes, it was from our civilization. Okay. From a Grukfiknir point of view, but before we became part of Grukfiknir. Okay. But we um, knew that eventually we would align with them. So therefore. They did help us in some programs before we were even part of them because we were very friendly and we were very aligned. Um, my next question would be if I would benefit from getting more from Dorian? That I would have to look into. But the more Fendorian, it's just logical to me that more Fendorian is better. Okay. okay. Um, um, and can you tell me what was the reason for me getting the, uh, the DNA at that time? You were going through many very difficult periods at that time and Fendorian helped you to have the strength to get through it all. Okay. All right. And do you have any messages for me? Yes. I knew that will not benefit you at the moment, but it will benefit you in its vibration through all time. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I must go. Um I just I just have one more question from a from another member. One moment. What is this question? Wendy. Uh, she says she's feeling uh, a connection to the Fandorians. She would like to know if she has any of your DNA. She connects with all species. There is not a species that she cannot connect with if she does not want to. But she does have a connection with us. She is multiverse infused. She has great joy about multiverse infusion. I would like to speak to her at some point. 
Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you for coming and answering our questions. You are very welcome. Continue to rise. That is what is most important. Thank you. Oh. Are you making way for another person to come in? No. No. It is time to bring back this human. Yes, thank you. A blessing would be good if you would like to. We can give a blessing before we go. I do have time for that. There is always time for a blessing. Yeah. <laughs> I will leave you now. Thank you. This is a hand position that I have seen them use for connection. And that is what we want, is connection to you within our community and within ourselves. Thank you.